This is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this edition, we're going to be checking out a couple of uh, backup cameras, observation cameras, specifically by Furion and Halaview. These are the two most popular ones on the market from what I can tell. Here's a shot of the Furion. Of course, they do come in different configurations, backup cameras, side cameras. It's whatever you want and whatever you want to pay. Here's a view of the Halaview unit. It uh, can be modified and comes with a kit that can uh, adapt it to the Furion plate on, on the back of most uh, travel trailers. So here's some of the specs. I kept it to a minimum. I wanted this video to be rather short and this video is going to be about three and a half minutes long. So the Furion comes with a camera that's 120 degrees, the same with the Halaview. The resolution on the uh, Furion is a little bit less, in fact half as much as the Halaview. But the sensor size is 1 3rd inch, it's significantly bigger than the one on the Halaview, so that might mean, uh, I'll have to do more research, it's better in low light. Typically larger sensors gather more light. They're both well protected against spray, weather, you know, rain, etc, etc. You know, they're industrial standards are IP65 and IP69K. IP69K is a, a newer standard and it's a very nice standard and it means that you can spray it. It's designed for dump trucks, industrial applications and again you should have no water intrusion. The wireless range is uh, about half as much with the Furion at 492 feet and the wireless range on the hollow view is 984 feet. That's with the, uh, you know, clean sight. Uh, they're only good for around 35 feet typically, okay? Latency, I've been reading a lot about the uh, Furion not being as good as the hollow view. Uh, the latency on this uh, uh, Furion unit is 250 milliseconds as compared to 200 milliseconds for the hollow view. They both can be uh, configured with four cameras and their prices are significantly different. The price for the uh, Furion is $585, while the price for the Halaview is almost half, $299, essentially $300. Which one would you buy? Like any uh, YouTuber, I'm going to have links in the description to both of these units in case you want to check them further out. Here's a photograph of the Furion next to the Halview. I try to keep them uh, in proportion to each other. Again, the Furion is very nicely styled. And the Halview is a, has a more uh, basic look to it. It's not as beautiful, I think, as the Furion. But it has a lot of functionality. I sincerely hope you found this information useful. Don't forget to check out my uh, RV and Travel Adventures photography and video site, rvta.myportfolio.com. Please like subscribe and share and leave your friendly comments below and also check out my patreon page patreon.com slash jmm garza this short video explored the differences between the furion and halibut just a short examination i'm going to be buying one of these cameras very very soon so i need all the advice i can get if you can uh, drop a bit of information drop a bit of knowledge i would greatly appreciate it thank you very much. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Asus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.